Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And beloved, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 53, and let's look at verse number 2. The Bible says, For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of the dry ground. He had no form or comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. And friends, I certainly pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, beloved, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, Christ in Us. You know, friends, if we had lived in the first century Israel and crossed paths with Jesus in a market before he became well known, we would have not given him a second glance. Outwardly, there was little or nothing about Jesus' external appearance that would have commended him. That wasn't true of all of Israel's kings. In 1 Samuel 16, verse 18, the Bible says that David, son of Jesse of Bethlehem, was a fine-looking man. The Hebrew word for fine-looking is the same word translated beauty. When described in Isaiah 53, verse 2, what Jesus the Messiah lacked, David was fine looking, but Jesus apparently was not. That's a comfort because it indicates that its external attributes are not the point. You can be beautiful, handsome, or plain in the world's sight, and God can use you all the same. Why, you may ask. Because it is the Christ in us that matters. Our self-worth comes from how we reflect the Lord Jesus Christ, not how we're reflected in the mirror. Our appearance should enhance the image of the Lord Jesus as an appropriate frame enhances a priceless painting. It's Christ in us, the hope of glory. Think about this, my friend, and now let's pray together. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for all that you've given to us. And help us, God, reflect your image in how we live, that others may see Jesus in our lives. And help us live in such a way that we'll be pleasing to you 
for we make our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, friends, I do pray the devotion blessed you today, and if it did, you bless someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that our lives is the Bible that some will read today, so let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Thank you so much for tuning in, and you have a wonderful day.